beer tends to get overlooked in cooking, doesn't it? That glory almost always seems to go to wines. Yeah, sure, you might get the occasional gesture, but for every steak and ale pie, you get a cock au van, a beef bourguignon, the fleet of dishes that call to deglaze the pan with white wine, you get tiramisu, cherry trifle, Madeira cake. Okay, maybe not that last one. Let's give beer its moment. Kick off with a pastry, 220 grams of plain flour, 80 grams of caster sugar. Now, I want this to contribute to the theme rather than just being a vehicle for everything else. So what goes well with beer that I can put in this? And I've been looking for an excuse to bake with this peanut powder for a while, and I think this is about as good a reason as I can expect to find. So 40 grams goes into the flour and sugar mix with 90 grams of cold butter. Lid on and pulse this together until it looks like sand. Realize at this point that you've forgotten to season this and add some salt. Mix that in, crack in an egg, then process it together. Empty this out onto some cling film, then flour it for no reason whatsoever because it's late and your head's fried. Wrap it up then into the fridge to rest. This will keep for a few days, so if you need to make it ahead of time to make your life a bit easier, if, say, for a completely hypothetical example, you're trying to find time to make this sort of nonsense while juggling a full-time job and parenting a toddler, which is fortunate. Clear down and over to next day. Morning. Get this unwrapped and yeah, that looks pretty good. Right, now I need to flower the board. Here we are again, more flour, and roll this out until it's slightly larger than my lightly greased pie tin. That looks about right. Pastry up. Pastry down. Gently ease in the edges. If any areas of the crust are a bit too thin or damaged, just patch them with some of your pastry offcuts. Greaseproof paper crumpled up to make it more workable, then use it to line the pastry. Baking beans. And blind bake this at 160 for 20 minutes. Not quite done yet. Just to give it a bit more waterproofing, I'm just going to brush it over with egg wash and put it back in for 10 more minutes. So, this is what happens when you don't dock your pastry. It means to stab it with a fork. The steam's got nowhere to go and you risk the base doming up like this. Let's see what happens as it cools. In the meantime, let's crack on with the filling. Bottle of beer. Ale, good strong flavour, should work well. Let me know in the comments what your beer of choice is. I'm curious to see what's popular. Into a pan, medium heat. Ah, too much head, said no man ever. When that's heated up, stir in 120 grams of unsalted butter and let that melt through. Done. Quarter of a teaspoon of mace. Quarter of a nutmeg. Let's prep our eggs. I need nine yolks, which means of course going through all the arsic of tossing a yolk from one half of the shell to the other 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 half of the shell over and over and over and over again. Or I could just do it the easy way. See how much easier that was? You're welcome. Nine eggs later and add 100 grams of light brown sugar. Whisk them together. Carefully at first so I don't sparkle my kitchen, then pour over the warm beer. Got to make sure the whisk keeps running while I do this and I have to make sure the beer isn't too hot or it'll just cook the eggs. Basically I'm trying to make a beer custard. There you go, done. 
Let's get the pastry case back and the uh, f***ing f big f***ing hole in it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Let's just test a little full. Oh, no, 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 It is as bad as it looks. Maybe it'll stop. Let's try it again. Nope, no, 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 no. How the f*** do you fix cracked pastry after it's been baked? Google, Google. Maybe the areas of the crust are a bit too thin or damaged. Just put some of your pastry off. That's right, got it. Crisis averted. Let's pour on this custard. Do this in the oven to make my life a bit easier, then in it goes. 160, half an hour. 20 minutes in, let's have a look. I've just covered the pastry with foil to stop again too dark. Looks reassuring. Jokes aside, obviously putting lumps of cracked pastry in your tarts is going to cause more issues than it solves, but I think the time it would take a plug of raw pastry to cook would just burn the rest of it. There we go, food with a face again. That is aggressively hot. It looks like it's protesting its own existence. Maybe give it a minute before touching it. This foil off, bubbly bubbly. Nice wobble though. And trim the excess pastry now that it's cooled down and get it out of the tin. rough around the edges but looks pretty good to me just need something to serve it with now be a cream 10 grams of light brown sugar 30 mils of beer and 60 mils of double cream whisk you can already see that's getting thicker a bit longer though that's more like it Happy pie. See what this looks like on the inside. Well, that custard's well set. It's even strong enough to support that pastry plug, so you know it's cooked well. Plate this up. A few crumbed up pretzels, a spoonful of that cream, and some pork crackling. There we go. I love that beer custard. It's almost a caramelly butterscotch flavor at first, and all of a sudden it's just that hoppy, beery, malty flavor. That's good. I'm glad that's not getting lost. That's the point of the dish. And that hasn't been the case with all of them. Like, the Coke pizza didn't taste a Coke. Fish cake didn't taste a fish. Finally bucking the trend. The mace and the nutmeg don't really come through, but you can sort of find them if you concentrate. But they're not really the point of the dish. I could have filled this a bit more generously too, to be honest. Beer really comes through the cream too, that's that's good. The salted snacks are given nice little packets of well, saltiness. Which is really nice through all of this sweet, buttery, caramelly, biscuity everything. You know pretzels and scratches work well with beer anyway, so I don't really need to belabor that point. Pastry, oh. Okay, here we go. We, we already know the base is going to be pretty flaccid. Pastry tastes good. It's buttery and, importantly, I can taste the peanut. So, obviously, it works with everything else on the plate. The dry parts around the edge are they're short, they're crumbly, they're, they're good. So, it's not a complete write-off. There will come a day where I cook a recipe from start to finish with no technical issues. But it is not this day. And that's beer tart. Absolutely gorgeous. Poached pastry and all. If you do decide to try it yourself, I'd love to see if you have better luck with your tart cases than I did. So drop us a message or a photo over in the socials. Social links are in the description. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell. Thank you all for watching and until next time, get forked!